Okay. You're going to stick this right down in the ear okay. till it bottoms out because it needs to be in there to hold it stable and then you judge how much of this you need. Just tear it to that length and then what we do, I like to put the tape on here and reverse it so the sticky side is out. Okay. What that does is allow it to stick to the ear a little better. This step isn't that critical, but it seems to help. Otherwise, when they shake their head, sometimes they can get these things to just pop right up. Mm. I know that. I've done that before. So then, mm. we stick this back down in there. Mm. And you have to tape it with the direction of the fold of the ear. Okay. So each ear is going to be taped a different direction. This one's going to go clockwise. Next one will be counterclockwise mm. on the other ear. Mm. Getting it down here at the base of the ear is important, otherwise they will shake it out. Mm. Okay. And I like to make sure I go all the way up to the tip. Mm. Yeah, the tips are kind of turning out a little bit. Yeah, some people like that look actually where it turns out a tiny bit at the tip. Mm. Mm. Personal preference. Some people will request a little, um, um, actual little hook on the end of the ear so it looks like it's got a hook on it. And that should be a sufficient amount. Now, were these ears taped up across the head when she went home? He, she? They were, he just did the little, like a... Did he do a tape across the top? No. Or? Okay. Well, yeah. They were taped right here. Okay. And like pinched together. Okay. Uh, at this point, you don't need to do that probably because they're standing well by themselves. Okay. This one is at least. Save that piece too, you'll have enough for another one. Mm. Um, we get this at Menards. Okay. It's just. Just cock saver? Yeah. Mm. And this size is. Okay. It's okay, Nephi. And you're going to want to leave this on probably three or four days. Not too long because it gets moist under there. Mm. And get yourself. You don't want waterproof tape, you want porous tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one is going to go counterclockwise with the fold of the ear. Mm. Do you have any other dogs at home? Yes, I have a, another Doberman. Okay. That's another reason to make sure you keeps a cone on. The other dog can still potentially get at these ears, but... Mm. She's not, they're not together. Okay. Mm. Um, the other dog has a litter of pups, so she's separated. Now what I'm going to do very carefully here is cut off this extra at the tip. You don't want to cut the tip of the ear off. Though. <laughs> do that when you can see the tip. Now it's not likely to happen, but if these ears should try to just fall down, you can put a piece of tape right across the top of the head around, okay. around the ears. I just as soon leave them like that so that the muscles here have to develop too to hold those ears up. Okay. If you keep, the, keep those taped across each other, those these muscles can get a little weak through here. Okay. And then the ears don't want to stand up. Mm. All right, you're done, girl. So, um, the first time, is this the first time we've done it after surgery? Yes. Okay, there's no charge. 